Pesky insects lurking in your yard are making more people sick. You might have seen this warning from the CDC. It's worth hearing again. Listen closely. Infections from mosquitoes, ticks, fleas have more than tripled in the last few years. And here in Florida, you know this is the time of the year to watch out for those bugs. The CDC says since 2004, at least nine diseases have popped up in the U.S. for the first time. And they're all spread by bug bites. Mosquitoes specifically carry dengue, chikungunya, and Zika. Hillsborough County Mosquito Control is on the cutting edge of what might it take to bring those disease numbers down. Today's News reporter Eric Glasser shows you some of the high and low tech innovations they're developing to keep those diseases in check. The numbers from the CDC are staggering. Diseases carried by ticks, fleas, and in the Tampa Bay region, mosquitoes tripling over the last decade. A lot of new technology has come out of uh, the introduction of Zika here in, in the state of Florida. In the past two years, the Zika virus has forced Hillsborough Mosquito Control to become far more innovative. In doing so, they're making huge strides against the same type of mosquito that carries other diseases. The Aedes aegypti, which is that number one vector of Zika, is also your, your dengue mosquito, your yellow fever mosquito, and, and other diseases also. The county has come up with some high and low tech innovations in the last two years, like a more effective bucket trap that catches 20 to 30 times more mosquitoes. It helps us identify, hey, this is where an issue is, and this is where we really need to focus our attention. They've also launched a geotagging program in conjunction with USF, identifying chronic problem spots so they can kill the mosquito's larvae before they become biting, disease-carrying adults. We've even had uh, three different municipalities come and visit us here at Hillsborough County uh, this winter, looking at what we're doing, how we're doing it, and how they could take that back and utilize it within their programs. The county's latest anti-mosquito weapon is this, delivered just last week, a monster truck that can get into those hard to reach marshy areas. This is eight heads, different product, different goal. Yes. Traditional single nozzle foggers killing flying mosquitoes. This one has eight designed to kill larvae in standing water up to 300 feet away. If we can continue to control them in that level, then we don't have to worry about them becoming adult mosquitoes and becoming that vector and out there transmitting those diseases. And Hillsborough Mosquito Control isn't resting on its laurels either. They continue to experiment with the latest technology, including drones, which can reach places that these trucks simply can't. Look for the possible deployment of those as early as next year. In Tampa, Eric Lasser, 10 News. Now, the CDC is also warning you to watch out for fleas and ticks. Ticks carry Lyme disease, which accounts for about 63% of the insect-borne illnesses tracked by the CDC. Get this, cases have doubled to about 36,000 a year, and the CDC says that's because of underreporting. The real number, this will knock you down. It's a little bit closer to 300,000. Doctors say to protect yourself by using just common sense. If you're going outside, especially in a tick-infested area, cover up, use insect repellent. And after going inside, it may also help you to put your clothes in the hot dryer for about 10 minutes to kill any ticks that might have gotten into your clothes.